sometimes kids get um, are doubt are doubtful about themselves on whether they can do something or whether they can't do something. But I think any person could do anything for something they're really passionate about. Like for me, it's about all these bills on animals and legislations that we're trying to pass or trying to get considered. Because just if if I'm passionate about this, I can get another person passionate about this. And I think that's really major. And if we do pass a bill or legislation or help one pass, I'll be really happy. <laughs> Today, this will be a day like no other day these Stockton Elementary School students have ever had. We're going to Springfield today to talk to our state reps about a bill that we're hoping to pass and maybe to encourage our, um, our legislators about the puppy mill project, um, the dog fighting incidents, and maybe food fa factory farm animals. So maybe we can go there and maybe we can change their minds about some laws. We can convince the legislators because just because we're kids does not mean anything. We have the same power as anybody else has. Well, today what we're going to be doing is talking to a whole bunch of um, state representatives, um, but they're going to be like, um, they're going to be working today, so we're just going to get like five minutes with each one. What we're going to do is we're, we're going to um, tell them, like, be as quick as possible, but try to get our message across. Well, I hope to um, persuade the legislators into feeling like um, puppy mills and like, Dog fighting and factory farms. Yeah. We're basically informing them about um, animal abuse. What well, I hope to accomplish today is get the legislators to enforce the dog fight laws. The animals, um, they need help. Project that they're working on, legislating or lobbying for animal welfare um, legislation. Um, I, is made possible by the ASPCA. I mean, they gave us a grant to do this. So HART is a 501c3, which means we're a nonprofit. We go into the Chicago Public Schools free of charge. We don't charge for our service. I can't say enough about the HART program and how we're having all these opportunities that we definitely wouldn't have with Chicago Public Schools. Um, we wouldn't have the money to get a bus and um, go down to Springfield and have the experience that we're having. Um, a lot of these kids won't unfortunately be able to go on their um, class trip because the amount of money that they have to pay to go on a class trip. So I think everyone wanted to come today so that they could experience Springfield. A lot of the kids have never left Chicago before, so this is a great experience for them. I think the HARD program is a really, really good um, program. I think that it teaches kids be a better people and that even kids can do things for um, today's modern society to help out like with animals, um, for rights, for um, any, uh, any of stuff like that. And it's very nice because they're teaching us stuff that we didn't even know about before. Definitely this experience will empower the kids. Um, I see so much change when the kids do something like this. They really start to feel like they could do something and they want to do more and it just leads them to, to better things. I know that I've exposed them to issues that they otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to learn about. Um, and I think I also expose them to the idea of hidden consequences of their choices. A lot of kids don't always know that the shampoo they buy is tested on animals or the shirt they bought was made using child labor or, you know, that a plastic bottle, plastic bottle of water could possibly end up in a whale's stomach. Um, these are all things that, that most teachers don't have the time or freedom to explore. And um, by, by having the heart program in their classroom, those issues come to light. Well, we're gonna have a tour of the Capitol building first. We have so much to accomplish in such little time, and we have, and we only have like five minutes to talk to each person. I'm here today to talk to you about the dog fighting laws. Hopefully, you can enforce those laws, or the over there in Chicago, the police department can enforce those laws because we are really hoping to enforce them because we think that's inhumane to animals. Probably not going to go away overnight, real quick, but we got to stop 
allowing people to do it and allowing them to say it's okay. I think it went great because he he was actually listening. So I think he probably he looked he sounded like he was looking forward to uh, getting like the bills passed because he was really he was giving like information about how like he was trying to do stuff. So I think he I think it's going good. We just wanted to enforce the laws about commercial dog breeding. Well, I agree with you. Farmers said, uh I think it's a good idea to cut off um, the cow's tails, but it's not necessary. There's no benefit to it. Right. It only causes pain towards the animal. I'm with you on that one. I contact on him. You've been wondering what to do. I want to talk to you about the dog fighting laws. We think they can be enforced anymore. Okay, you talk about the dog fighting Join me in welcoming the 8th grade students from Stockton Elementary School today. Um, we accomplished a lot. I think we persuaded the legislators, our representatives, mind. So maybe they'll take the bills into consideration. I think they got the message of what we were trying to say. I doubt that a lot of people have came up to them with these kinds of issues. I think today when really great. I can't even say how proud I am of the kids at Stockton. They really did a great job. I think what they're going to take away from this is their understanding that they have the ability to make change in the world. The fact that they are able to speak with people who make important decisions on a daily basis and for them to be able to get in front of those individuals and tell them exactly what they want from them to make this world a better place is by far the, the biggest takeaway that, that they're going to have. Uh, I really enjoyed the heart program being in my school because it's really fun. They teach us about stuff that we didn't know. I think the heart program has made me a better person in many ways. It taught me many lessons. The heart program being at Stockton School could, is one of the best things that could happen to Stockton. Yeah, I'll remember this for a long time because it was such a really different thing. I've never done anything like this and I really thought it was interesting and doing this kind of made me think of a career and being a professional lobbyist. This whole day might have changed my life.